Hello everyone and welcome to another video. Today in this video, what I'm gonna do is something I haven't done in a long time. I'm gonna do a tier ranking list of all the NBA teams. I'm gonna put them to see where they belong. Are they gonna be in the championship? Are they gonna make a run? Are they gonna be an early exit? Are they gonna be in the play-in? Or better luck next year. So hey, for more content like this, make sure to like, comment, subscribe. We are on the road to 1000. Make sure to hit that subscribe button, turn on the noti bell. We're gonna have a good time together. Let's get right into it. Okay, so here we are. Got my beautiful list here. So what we're going to do, we're going to start off with these Philadelphia 76ers. Um, the 76ers, for all my 76ers fans, man, I'm going to make sure I'm put y'all right here. Y'all are definitely an early exit team. I'm not going to lie to you. Um, Joel Embiid made you a little more interesting. Maybe you'll make a run, but in all honesty, likely we get injured in the postseason. So I'm going to put you at early exit. You don't have him or you don't have a healthy version of him. It's going to be rough. Washington Wizards, they have a worse record than the Detroit Pistons, who were the worst team ever at one point. So that's tough. And then Kyle Kuzma said, you know, what he said? He said, like, you just don't want to be that team. But now he is that team. And that's tough. But that's plot working. And plot's funny like that. So that's definitely something for that. Um, the Atlanta Hawks, you know, I haven't really kept up a lot with the Atlanta Hawks. I think they're like the epitome of a 500 team. I'm going to say play in because they feel like a team that'd be in that 10th seed. I may be wrong because uh, I'm not looking at the standings and I haven't looked at the standings in a little bit. But I feel like they sh they, they in that spot. Um, Cleveland Cavaliers, they can make a run, make a run to the conference championship. They're the two seed. They're playing some pretty good basketball. They want a little a good winning streak. Forgot when it started, but they want a little good winning streak. So I, I put it at make a run. I think I think they'll be a decent team. Detroit Pistons, I'm gonna make sure I'm put y'all at better luck next year. I you know honestly I don't know if it'll be next year. Y'all so terrible. Um, them boys, they rough. They're a rough team. Those two are the two worst teams in the NBA, but there's no Victor Webinyama available. And even if there was a Victor Webinyama, somehow he goes to the Spurs again, even if they're not in the lottery. The Indiana Pacers, I'm going to put y'all in the play-in. You know, I don't know. I remember the Pacers were in that um, the in-season tournament game. Y'all remember that? And they were they were competing in that game. And it was so interesting to see them go this far. And now, I don't know how relevant they are. I don't know if they're dealing with injuries or anything, but... You know, honestly, yeah, I don't know. I just, I'll put you at playing. Um, the Milwaukee Bucks, I'm going to put you guys at make a run. You should be in the finals from your talent perspective. But they have defensive problems. And I don't know, like, Doc Rivers doesn't have no plot. And then Damian Lillard don't have no plot either. Giannis do, but can he overcome that? I don't know. So I'm going to put you there. Toronto, I, you know, what is Toronto standings? Are they, because, you know, the thing about the Raptors is, like, I, I can never tell if they're good or not. Like, I can't tell if they're a good team. They're 12th. Ah, uh, I don't know. I'm gonna put you. I'm gonna say better luck next year. You may change. I may. It may change my mind, but I probably say better luck next year. Um, Dallas Mavericks is interesting because they're like they have a great player. They just don't have. They don't have a great team. Like their team's not really good like that. Like they have. They they, they don't win a lot. They're the AC in the West is hard as well. So, but Luka Doncic is good enough to just you know break people off. So, you know, just with that, I don't know. I think. I don't know. That's, that's interesting. I feel like it's 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 fool's goal to put them at make a run, early exit, first round exit. If they're the eight seven seed, who would they face? Like the two seed, they face the Nuggets. They're gonna lose. I'm gonna say early exit. I don't know. Hey, y'all changed my mind, but I'm gonna say early exit. If you're the eight seed in the West, I don't know. That's tough. That's rough. That's rough. So I don't know. If they change, they go up on the seating, then we'll change our minds. Denver Nuggets should be the should be in the championship. Should be in the finals. They're a team with championship experience. They're a team that just won the championship, obviously, right? They're a team that has playoff experience. This team has the superstar, probably best player in the NBA with Giannis right now. Like they they there's nobody in the West that I look at and say, dang, that's a real threat. There is, but they got no plot. Memphis Grizzlies, I'm saying better luck next year. You lost John Morant. So that hurts you significantly. Minnesota Timberwolves, I'm going to say you can make a run. Um, you can make a run. And for y'all, a run is the second round, to be honest. Like, if, I, I think the Timberwolves will lose in the second round. That's not a bad thing because you have never been. You haven't been to the second round since like 2004. So, hey, take it, boy. Take it. San Antonio Spurs, I'm going to put y'all right here. You have a superstar level player. You're not in purgatory anymore. You have Victor Webinyama. Uh, because y'all are the most <laughs> yeah, like lucky. I'm not say lucky, but just like I don't even know the word for it. But they get a lot of they get three number one overall pick big men that could be all time greats. Two of them are all time greats, and one is has more potential than the other two. So that's plot. Utah Jazz. Um, I'm gonna put y'all here. Everyone in the West that's not to ten. 
you're on better luck next year, right? Like everybody, if you're not the top, there's the top 10 and that's going to be in the playoffs. Like that's almost established. Everyone else, it just makes sense for you not to be. The Clippers, I'm going to put y'all and make a run. Y'all sh- y'all have a, ch- a chance. Y'all are to me the closest team that can compete with the Nuggets. It's just that you have James Harden and James Harden in the game sevens is rough. You have Paul George who's rough in game seven. Also Westbrook has some good moments, but he also has some bad moments. And Kawhi Leonard got injury issues. So I don't know. I don't know. It can go terrible for you, though. But we'll see. Phoenix Suns, man. I don't know. I'm put you out early exit. I don't know. I'm not a believer, man. I don't know. Like, KD is really good. Devin Booker, but it's just like an early exit of me for them. And I guess early exit is different for everyone. Because some people like a second round exit is early for them. Like the Celtics, a second round exit be early. I think for the Suns, I don't know. The first or second round exit. They could have lost in the first round last year. But Bradley Beal never healthy, and I just feel like they haven't gelled as well. And maybe, you know, maybe I'm don't have my facts together, but I don't know. From what I'm seeing outside in, it's like you're good, but you, I don't think you're gonna make it really far. Uh, Portland Trail Blazers, man, you know, I ain't gotta say much about that. I'm put you right there. Sacramento Kings, I'm put you out early exit. Y'all just in the West, and that there's there's no offense to that. It's not me like taking a shot at you. You're just in the Western Conference, and that's just tough in itself. I'm sorry. Um, I run New York. Make a run, boy. Go for it, boy. Get to the conference finals. The Knicks are, they have an identity, and that's important. They have an identity. And when you have an identity and your defense so great, Jalen Brunson, you have uh, OG Ananobi. I know you got some injuries, but you're you know you you're a good team. You beat the Cavs, um, and the Cavs didn't have Donovan Mitchell, but you didn't have Jalen Brunson. So, you know, you are a good team. You're not going to win the championship, but if you make it to a game seven in the second round or you make it to the conference championship, which is possible, honestly, I think you could actually do that. One upset, you can upset a team like the Bucks, maybe make it. I don't know. And then we can lit in New York. But so I'm rooting for the Knicks, man. I'm rooting for the Knicks. I'm, I'm a Rockets fan. We're not winning. So I'm rooting for the Knicks. Um, New Orleans, um, I'm going to say early exit. I don't like and that's it's just it's just being in the West. I don't know. Yeah, they have more experience, more deep playoff experience. And there's some hard hitters. So I don't know. Charlotte Hornets, boy, buns, buns and thighs. Houston Rockets, I'm a Rockets fan, but hey, man, we got to improve in a lot of categories before we can actually start competing in this thing. Uh, the Miami Heat, what is the Miami Heat's, um, what is the Miami Heat's record right now, man? Where are they standing? They're obviously going to be in the play in at least. They're seventh. So I don't know. Like, I, I don't want to bet. I'm going to say early exit. I don't want to bet against Miami. Because Miami has the ability to just like play off Jimmy Butler is like a real thing. And they have the ability to just click on in any moment. But I don't know. I just feel like you can't have that much plot in back-to-back years. Maybe you can. I don't know. I'm going to put you at early exit and call it a day. Um, Chicago Bulls, they ninth in the East. I'm going to put you at play in. Um, I don't know. <laughs> put you at play in. They, they're the definition of purgatory. The definition of it. So I don't know what to say about that. Um, you know, these these Eastern some of these Eastern Conference teams, honestly, bro. Like, I don't know, bro. Like, I don't no one talk about y'all, man. Cause y'all in the Brooklyn Nets, I need y'all to suck because I want y'all, I want y'all pick. Y'all 11th in the East. I don't know. Is that close enough? They close. They two games back. Yeah, the two games back of the of the Hawks. Ah, I don't know. I don't want y'all on the play in, but I don't know. You can you can make the play in. Like, we'll put you there. The Thunder, I'm going to say y'all make a run, man. Y'all have a great history. Y'all have a great, great foundation, right? You have Shea, who is a guy who is playing like a star, superstar player. Um, you have a guy who's a rookie of the year candidate, Chet Holmgren. You have a really well cohesive team, really well coached. Y'all are currently the number one seed in the West, and you have a ton of picks, so you can maybe trade those for something else. You have more, more than you actually need because you already are really good right now, and you have significantly more coming to you. So you're in an outstanding spot. So the Oklahoma City Thunder definitely can make a run. I don't see them making it to the championship game because they don't have enough experience, but I can see them getting to a deep second round or, you know, conference championship they can do that um i hope i don't know i'd rather clippers nuggets be the conference championship because that to me rings more for me that's like what i i expect to be the conference championship maybe maybe the suns maybe the matter i don't know but the thunder maybe i'll make it maybe it's thunder versus nuggets boy and i don't know how many people gonna watch that but basketball fans will golden state should be an early exit i ain't gonna lie to you steph curry you got plot you a main character but 
you got Chris Paul on your team now, and that like that evens out because now there's moments where Curry shouldn't have won, but he usually does because of some plot. But now when you add in like Chris Paul, Chris Paul like levels the playing field because it's, he has the worst plot ever. So now I am confident saying they will lose early exit. Boston Celtics, this Boston team has a chance. They have a chance to be one of the great teams in history. They do. Um, they're winning a lot of games. You know, they're stacked across the board. Drew Holiday, Jason Tatum, Jalen Brown, Chris Dasperzingis. I mean, that is a big four. That is, And it's not like a big four full of four superstars, but it's a big four, four full of people that are relevant in today's NBA. So, you know, Joe Mazzulla was taking a lot of heat last year, but he's, you know, they coached them boys well this year. They just beat the Warriors to hell. I mean, these boys, have they, they, they are the favorites. This should be the top, should be the NBA championship. So if it's not, somebody went wrong. But the Celtics, this is this is like if the Celtics don't win the NBA championship this year, this is plot like your plot's awful. Like it's tough because they have one championship since the end of the Cold War. You Like, come on now. <laughs> and this team is outstanding. So they better win something. Lakers is the same kind of plot with the Lakers all the time there. You know, they may like they'll be terrible and have ups and downs. And at any year they go on a little run and then they make it and they beat a win in the play in and they make the playoffs and maybe even beat the first round team. I don't know. But it's, it's the, the plot's usually the same. They'll make it. LeBron, he criticized the play in before when it didn't help him, but now he loves it because that's where his team just resides, is in the play in tournament. So, hey, looked out for you, boy. Um, Orlando Magic. I know uh, Paolo. Paolo's a really good player. I would have loved to have Paolo on the team of the Rockets. I would have loved that. But I don't know what their standings are. I don't know. I feel like playing to be a decent. They're sixth. They're sixth. That's close. Because, you know, the thing, I don't even know that bottom of the East. But the Magic, uh, the Magic deserve to be in the postseason for sure. I'm going to put y'all on playing. I'm going to put y'all on playing right now because you're really close to teams like the Heat uh, to be in that. No, nah, I'm going to put you playing. I'm going to put you at playing, right? Nah, I may have to put you early exit because you're a sixth seed. I'll put you early exit, bro. So, yeah, you're early exit team, right? You know, but Paulo being the you know playoffs, he's a dope player, man. I'm so so sad we didn't get him. I mean, Jabari Smith is good, but he's not number one overall. Paulo good. That's unfortunate though. So hey, but that's my list. Um, if you agree with my list, say it in the comments. If you don't, say it in the comments, man. And then for more content like this, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. I think my list is really good. I like my list. If you don't, you can say something about it. But hey, regardless, make sure to like this video. Very important you like this video. We're on the road to 700 subscribers in the month, and we are so close to being able to be a partner when it comes to watch hours. So make sure to watch this video. Do your thing, bro. We're going to be putting out the content this month. I'll catch you guys on the next video, and I'm out of here. Peace.